such a pleasure to meet you. Likewise. The world, maybe not all of English-speaking Canada, but the world was... But the rest of the world around it? <laughs> well, the, the world was watching Cannes, and you won a huge, a huge prize, the jury prize at Cannes for your film, uh, Mummy. What was that like? It was, um, it was amazing. Something happened with Mommy to change things for me a little, I feel. You know, with my age, I sort of struggle for credibility. And people um, tend to treat me like uh, a kid, or uh, which I am, I guess, <laughs> physically. Or, uh, but You're 25. I'm 25. Um, but then Mommy happened, and people were like, oh, OK. Uh, and that was, that was great. I, I can't get over it. I, I, I don't have to, <laughs> but I, I, and I don't think I will. I mean, I still think about it, I guess, every day. You are very young. Um, some people compare you to Orson Welles, but he made his first movie at 25. Yeah, he was lazy. <laughs> lazy. You made your first, you were 18, weren't yeah, you? No, I was 19. I oh, wrote it when I was well. 17. I was 19 when I started to shoot it, 19 and 20. Uh, so Orson Welles is lazy. Yeah. He's a late bloomer. <laughs> <laughs> I don't work, I don't create with my age, you know, it doesn't, it's not a, it's not a, it, it's not an obstacle, it's not a, an asset, it's not, I don't use it, I don't think about it, I just, you know, create and do what I have to do. There's a mother-son relationship theme, obviously, in your movies. Yes. Your first movie, um, I Killed My Mother, you've said was to punish your mom. The second one's a little different. Um, if I killed my mother was meant to punish my mom, then mommy was meant to avenge her. But you like your mother more now? I've always loved my mother. Mm. And when she saw I killed my mother, she told me two years after, because we never really talked about it. And I know it's harsh, you know, and it's a story. And, but, I mean, the character of the son is pretty brash and bratty and, 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 and you know, he... It, most of the people related to the mother, although she was very tacky and, and, and sort of kitsch or whatever, people related to that mom and was like, poor women, she is tortured by this asshole son. Mummy is really a story of motherly love. Yes. And son love, too. Yes. Yeah. But she's more the hero, I suppose, of the second one. She is. Mm -hmm. And mommy really is um, Diane's. That's... And Dorval's character, you know, it's her point of view, her world, her her fights, her battles, her struggles. There's a lot of very successful Quebec directors right now. True. Why why is that? How do you explain that? What is it about Quebec? You know, in Quebec, we've 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 been told, and this is maybe something Canadian too. You know, we've we've, you know, until the '60s, we were dominated and ruled uh, and, and under church sole authority, and 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 when we broke free from that insane um, omnipresence of the church and, and clerical omnipresence and everything, I think that you know we also broke free from the sort of convictions that, you know, those Christian values is such like, uh, such as, you know, having any f sort of remote ambition is ungodly or any desire for wealth, any desire for success, any desire for uh, winning uh, or all of this in Quebec can be seen as, as unseemly because you, you, if you prepare to, you know, achieve things that are greater than working from nine to five and, and then taking the metro and then going to bed, you are pretentious, you know, and you should get back down to earth and you should stop daydreaming. So does that make you different than Canadian directors? I do think that some people, especially in Quebec right now, but I, I do not know, you know, the, the equivalent to Jean-Marc Vallée or Denis Villeneuve or Philippe Valardeau here in, in, in English Canada. I know, obviously, Adam Goey, I know David Cromer, I know mm -hmm. Gavin, but I don't know who are the contemporaries of Philippe and, and Jean-Marc. But what I do know about them is that um, they have sheer enthusiasm for cinema and, and, and they don't feel like they have to do films in a Quebec way, in a Quebec 
smallness. They don't feel they have to abide by any rules. You know, they just want to make good movies. And this is why they're doing movies in the States right now. They're not afraid of going to the States and, and working there. Until a few years ago, Quebecers went in droves, by the millions really, to see Quebec-made films. And now they're going to see these American blockbusters. Um, those, are the, those are the ones making the most money in Quebec now. Is that, what does that say? Uh, are, they not, are they less interested in their own yes. culture? Yes, sure. I feel like they, the Quebec public has been disappointed by many Quebec movies, and they've lost the desire to see them. Um, we've is there some something political going on there too? Because it used to be, you know, you were supposed to see Quebec films because you were supporting the culture, and I don't think this is not now. More people speak English too, or and so we're seeing more English films. So I'm just wondering, is there a political motivation? People have always too? spoken, yeah, but I don't think it has anything to do with it. With that, I don't think people, you know, have lost faith in an identity and then lost faith in. A, I just think that the business did this to herself in mm -hmm. Quebec. I'm not afraid to talk about Quebec, Quebec's culture, identity, problems, complexes with strengths, weaknesses. Mm. I'm not afraid of that. Do you get Anyway, political? people don't like me there. So, Do you, Well, not? there's a fair amount of people who like me and don't like me, so I don't care about shocking people oh, anymore you are with the whatever. L'Enfant Terrible, that whole it's thing? The, it's, I, just, I just speak my mind, and it's just, for me, it's absolutely normal that people are like, it's just, there's a we've lost the the interest for sane and healthy and plainly normal debate. Mm. Thank you so much. You're it's welcome. Been, yeah, it's thank been fun. you.